In 2015, we left the rat race and went to the farm. We bought a 100-year-old farmhouse and nine acres. After three years of extensive renovations, we can finally call ourselves College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Today, we're using cultivators. Now today, I wanna to show you how we use our cultivators to take care of our weed problems. When we did the video on the garden update, you can see that the potatoes were getting quite a few weeds in them and some of the other stuff was getting a few weeds. So I'm gonna show you how we use the cultivators to take care of that today. So I'm gonna go up, drop off the tiller, put on the cultivators, which you've seen me do before, so I'm not gonna show you that again, but I'll show you how to use them to get the weeds out of your garden. Here we are in the potato patch. Now I've got my cultivators on. You'll notice there are four tines. Uh, I took the two center tines off. I find out that I dig stuff up with them on. So I took the two center tines off. And doing with these two outer tines, it does a fine job. Uh, but the ticket is the tractor, this needs to be set so it can't move too far one way or the other one. Uh, and the tractor drives over the crop and you keep the tractor centered so that these cut out the weeds on either side. And your rows need to be close together enough that this set of cultivators, when I go to the next row, will match up with this set of cultivators. So once this is all cultivated, there shouldn't be any weeds in any of it. Now my garden's, this garden, this garden plot is on a hill. So I found that with my cultivators on, if I try to cultivate going uphill, my tractor tends to waggle. Well, if it waggles, I'm gonna cut the plants up in the row. So I only cultivate downhill on a hilled garden. It's not a great big slope, but it's a good enough slope that it makes my tractor pull funny coming up. So always cultivate downhill. So I'm gonna start the tractor and then you'll see how the cultivators work and I'll cultivate two rows and you'll get the idea. Okay, folks, 
the cultivating's done. Uh, just so you know, why do I cultivate, use the cultivators instead of just using the tiller? I make my rows wide enough that I could just use a tiller. Well, when the plants are young, I can cultivate the entire garden, cultivate the entire garden, and what time it takes me to cultivate two rows with the tiller. Because you have to run your tractor in second gear with a tiller, and I can cultivate in fourth gear. So I've got all of my, this cultivated, all of the potatoes cultivated, and what time it would have taken me to do two rows here in this garden. So using the cultivators is just faster. But now once the plants get too tall for my tractor to go over top of them, I have to use the tiller. But once you get the weeds killed out, you don't have to do that a whole lot. So if you get them, the weeds when they're young, it's a lot less work later on. I about let my potatoes go too long between cultivation, but they'll be just fine. I got a little whole work to do. I'd like to thank you for visiting with us at College Hill Farm today. I hope you found our videos entertaining and, and or informative. Uh, if you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment on both Facebook and YouTube. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.